few weeks ago, the start of 2011, we had another announcement. That is the fir Kepler's first rocky planet, a planet 1.4 to the size of the Earth and a density greater than that of the Earth. So it's obviously a rocky planet of some type. So we're moving into the direction we want from the bigger, easier planets to the smaller planets uh, that uh, uh, might harbor life. So let's go and talk about not what we found up to today, but look at the data itself that we released last night. Could I have the next figure, please? When we started out, this was our field of view. Uh, it covers 100 square degrees of sky. You see three yellow points there. These three were planets that were known uh, before we launched. They were in our field of view. and uh, Of course, uh, made measurements of them. But let's look at the same field of view after looking at four months of Kepler data. Next figure, please. This are those 1,200 candidates. We cover the field of view with all sorts of candidates. Let's look at the next figure. We measure the size of these objects. We can tell you which are Earth size, which are Neptune size, which is super Earth size. And you see that in color. The, yellow, the blue dots are Earth size planets, Earth size candidates, not yet planets. The green ones, the yellow ones, are super Earths, up to twice the size of the Earth, but still that if they're confirmed might very well have a solid surface people could walk on. Uh, then we have the Neptune, the size, and the giant planet sizes. So a huge range of, of planets throughout this field of view. Could I have the next figure? This gives you the numbers of what we have found. 68 Earth-sized candidates. Candidates up to 1.25 the size of Earth. Some of these candidates smaller considerably smaller than the Earth, close to Mars size. Then we have the 288 candidates that are somewhat bigger than the Earth. 662, 662 Neptune-sized candidates. As uh, Doug mentioned earlier, in the 15 years of observations, the total number of known planets that have been discovered is like 520. Just this group alone of candidates exceeds that. So there's an enormous number of candidates that we're finding, 165 Jupiter-sized objects, objects that are even bigger than Jupiter, and we're not quite sure what they are, uh, and so there's 19 of those as well.